coming up. MTN News at 5 continues right after this. From Montana's news leader, you're watching MTN News at 5. Welcome back to the News at 5. As if you need another thing to add to your to-do list, tax season is around the corner. The Montana Ag Network's Lane Nordland has some tips for farmers and ranchers. There's no question that farmers and ranchers have faced many challenges in 2021. And as the end of the year draws near, there are several important tax provisions producers should be aware of for the 2021 tax year. It's been a roller coaster of a year with the potential tax law changes that might be coming, might not be coming. So the sooner they can get in and talk to their advisors, the better. During the Montana Grain Growers Convention of Great Falls last week, CPA Dana Springer with Whitfley shared important tax information with producers, including crop insurance related items. We've been getting a lot of questions on uh, crop insurance and what they can do with the payments that they're receiving because they're getting those checks before the end of the year. Uh, so they need to know that they can defer those if it's to the loss of production. And that's just an election that we make on the tax return. So there's nothing that they have to do now other than get some reports from their insurance agent to make sure we know um, if it's loss of production or if it's revenue insurance. Springer also reminds ag producers and businesses of ag research and development tax credits for those working to develop new or improved agriculture practices. For farmers, if they're doing anything new or different, there is a credit that they can get on top of those expenses that they're already paying for. So it's some great tax savings for people who are trying some different crops. As a result of the drought, many ranchers statewide have made the difficult decision to reduce the size of their cattle herds. Springer shared a few tax options one can consider. So again, there's some good deferral options uh, for livestock. You can just defer the income to next year if there was excess sales. Uh, there's also some options for breeding livestock where you have uh, with the disaster designations, you actually have four years to replace those livestock. So you don't necessarily have to take that income this year. And again, those are elections that we get to make on the tax return. So just have to make those decisions before next spring. Now for any questions on these important topics, contact your local tax expert. Reporting in Great Falls, Lane Nordland, MTN News.